right, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about one of the, if not what many people consider to be the greatest upset <clears throat> in the history of sports, believe it or not. And that is Rulon Gardner's uh, victory uh, over Alexander Carolyn uh, in uh, wrestling in the Olympics. And uh, now a lot of people would look at this and they would think, well, you know, this wrestling is really not that big of a deal. Uh, but <clears throat> in 2000, um, at this point, uh, Carolyn was considered to be unbeatable. I mean, he hadn't been beaten for 13 years, including uh, winning world level titles every year from 88 to 99. He was he was unbeatable. I mean, literally, this guy was unbeatable, and people assumed Sydney was going to be the same. I mean, this is him on the right. Look at the size of this guy's legs. I mean, I saw pictures of him walking through like waist deep snow training that's what he did Gardner on the left here Gardner's no small guy either though uh, he's a huge guy Gardner actually um, went into the 2000 uh, Olympics uh, not not favored uh, to do you know that well um, like I said everybody was uh, pretty positive that uh, the big Russian was gonna walk away with the gold uh, and be pretty much unchallenged but Rulon Gardner changed all that uh, he defeated it, kind of beat uh, that aura of invincibility, uh, you know, along the lines of uh, what uh, Buster Douglas did to Mike Tyson. Uh, but this is actually considered a greater upset, uh, believe it or not, by many people. So, and Rulon Gardner now, <clears throat> I'm going to talk a little bit about him and his life. Now, after, you know, he had some serious, uh, serious weight issues. He was on The Biggest Loser. Uh... You know, here he is, I think, actually when he had lost weight, he lost like 200 pounds. Uh, here he is in the middle there. Um, that's Kurt Angle on the right. Uh, I think, is that one of, who was the guy on the left? I'm one of Baldwin brother? I don't know, man, that's weird. Uh, yeah, Billy Baldwin, what the shit is he doing posing with Rulon Gardner and Kurt Angle? Anyway, okay, well, Rulon blew up to 474 pounds. Ah, uh, holy cow, that's insane, man. Ended up losing 200 pounds, so he got down in the mid 200s, uh, high 200s. So he got into decent shape again. I think he was trying to come back, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So here he is kind of on the left, looking really good. Wow, good for him. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and so a little bit about Rulon Gardner that a lot of people don't realize um, is that... Uh, he did win. He did win uh, a bronze in two thousand four. So, uh, you know, his, his he was a pretty decent wrestler. Had a good career. Um, he was born in Wyoming, and uh, he had published an autobiography, which I heard was pretty good, actually. And now he uh, makes a living as a motivational speaker, a yeah, keynote present presenter, and even a host. Um, after the Athens Olympics, here we go. Gardner gained 210 pounds, got up to 274. Uh, he then became a contestant on The Biggest Loser, lost 173 pounds, actually. And uh, he left the show for personal reasons, and, uh, you know, who knows what the deal was. But this is some crazy stuff. Rulon was one tough, uh, really tough son of a bitch. Uh, this guy has been through more, like, horroring experiences than, you know, most people I know combined. Uh, you know, it's it just crazy stuff. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of that. Some of it, uh, no doubt, you guys have heard of. Uh, Rulon's kind of a uh, back-home country kind of guy. Now, in elementary school, he was injured during a class show-and-tell when he was punctured in the abdomen with an arrow. <laughs> what the hell, man? Show and tell, the guy gets an arrow through his abdomen, okay? 2002, and a lot of you heard about this. He went snowmobiling with some friends in the mountains. Uh, he got separated from the group, and uh, he lost his composure, uh, and he fell into the freezing salt river with his snowmobile. Unable to move any farther, he decided to build a shelter and wait for the rescue team. He remained stranded for 18 hours in the wilderness of Wyoming. Uh, he built the shelter, he stopped shivering, and he thought he was going to die at that point because they say that's what happens 
uh, when your body goes into uh, severe hypothermia and is ready to shut down, you actually stop shivering and, and you feel warm. Uh, he ended up, uh, they had to use saws, a saw to remove his boots, and uh, he lost his middle toe. A lot of you guys heard about that, which he still keeps in a jar in the refrigerator. So pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> he keeps his, his toe in a jar in the refrigerator. Yep, pretty hardcore dude. I guess as a reminder, uh, you know how fragile uh, life really is. And there's Carolyn on the left, and he looks really happy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, upset of the century. It's pretty crazy stuff. Um, you know, but it's bound to happen. I mean, you know, this is sports. This is your things that we see. Um, you know, it's just crazy stuff. And and don't forget, too, in 2007, Gardner was in a airplane crash. One of those light aircraft that kill a lot of people, man. He plunged into Lake Powell uh, on the Utah, uh, Arizona border, maybe. And... Uh, the, the two other men in Rulon had to swim an hour in 44 degree water to reach the, so, reach the shore. They spent the night without shelter and they all survived. Uh, so Gardner's been through some crazy uh, ass stuff and he did try to compete in MMA. And he did uh, win that fight. Um, and he had a 1 0 record. That was his only fight, apparently. And it was Pride, actually. Shockwave 2004. Uh, he beat Hideko Yoshida. Who I think uh, was pretty, pretty decorated MMA fighter. Boss Rutan trained him, uh, so yeah, had potential maybe, but uh, you know, takes a lot of dedication to do that. Plus, you got to like getting hit in the head. But Rulon Gardner, definitely one of the craziest stories, uh, you know, of a of an athlete. The things that he survived, uh, you know, the thing that he accomplished, really pretty crazy stuff. And you know, people don't realize what it gigantic upset is that was i can't stress that enough if you follow wrestling at all uh you know you you understand that i think here's a picture of the of the match there pretty small but anyway rulon gardner and uh i think this is his wife right now Ab absolutely so he, he's just declared bankruptcy um had like three four million dollars in debt now, you know you see that a lot with these you know these people that become famous they you know, they live the life, and, and you know, whatever. There's that's life, man. I'm not judging the guy. Rulon Gardner, uh, alive and well, um, and uh, you know, good for him, man. He he lived a dream and, and did what, you know, think something that a lot of us, you know, would never do. Survived a lot of things that a lot of us couldn't survive. So.